So, uh, when I decided to hook up my own AGS uh, to my Xantrex 3012 inverter and my own AND generator, which is down there, I couldn't find any YouTube videos that said how to do it or showed how to do it. So, here's how I did it, and it really wasn't that bad. Here's the, um, the harness, the wiring harness that plugs into the AGS. And I separate out the wires that I used and the wires that I didn't use. And basically you connect uh, pretty much all the grays and all the blacks. You connect them to ground, which I've got grounded right there. And then I ran, um, because the uh, AGS module is nowhere near my generator, I had to run some connection wires, which are different colored, so um, that was a little tricky, but not too bad. Just make a little chart uh, with a few different columns, and then you'll know uh, where everything goes. So... Back in there, I put in some conduit, and I ran my uh, ran my wires for the AGS. And those wires go back here. And this is my generator. It's a uh, Cummins Onan RVQG4000 which is a pretty standard generator for a small motorhome. So back here is the uh, connection for the remote panel. Um, before it looked like this. And what I had to do was figure out what each one of these wires did, which of course it tells you in the right manual. Um, Make sure you get the right manual. I suggest you call Onan because I had a bunch of different manuals that I downloaded off the internet before I finally got the right one um, only by calling Onan and they were very helpful. You want the operator's manual and also the installation manual. And these are some uh, 5 amp fuses, inline fuses that I bought and put on because uh, that's what the Xantrex manual suggested. And over here, these wires in this split tube here, um, those go to the panel that the motorhome manufacturer installed. And this group of wires comes from that conduit that I ran all the way back to my inverter and uh, AGS uh, module. So, like I said, the wires, uh, the wire colors are a little bit different, but uh, not a big deal. I had some extra ones that I didn't use. I may use them in the future. Um, right now, there was something with the uh, with the switch that. Uh, right now, I have to manually sync the switch. So, if the AGS is uh, set to automatic and then you go and turn it on with a switch that came installed with the motorhome um, it uh, gives you kind of an error and and it gets out of sync basically the generator thinks it's or the AGS thinks it's off and the generator is actually running it's not really a big deal you can kinda of just turn it off again manually and then it's all good again um, but uh, there was something about trying to hook these wires up to these over here so that if whichever ones are for the switch I can't remember now um, I'm gonna make a nice chart and I'll post it uh, in a link in this video um, this is my handwritten notes on how to do it and again this is just for my inverter uh, my inverter and my generator if you have a different generator it's gonna be a little bit different um, 
But yeah, that's it's. I'll make a nicer chart. But that's pretty much it. You just you just cut into this harness right here. Figure out where each wire goes. There and here, and then that's pretty much it. It's a lot more daunting than it would seem. Uh, of course, there's a couple steps that you have to do on your uh, SCP, setting the correct generator type. Uh, I suggest you call Xantrex and make sure they help you figure that out, because um, it's not that straightforward. Um, and that's about it. Good luck.